Welcome to Nerdland. It's actually quite depressing here. But in any event, tonight's project is a laser power meter. So this laser power meter has a few couple nice and uh, unique features to it. It has a, uh, let's see, a 16 by 2 LCD display. It has a Peltier cooler sensor as well as a uh, USB interface for data logging as well as USB power. However, that is not to say that's the only way it can be powered. If we uh, flip it over here, we can see that it can also be powered via a uh, laptop charger or uh, Walmart power supply, or it can also be powered by a 9 volt battery through this uh, screw terminal here. In addition, this implements some very accurate uh, voltage measurements from our sensor. It has a multi-order uh, low-pass noise filter circuit on it with a adjustable 20-turn gain pot for calibration. And it also has a 16-bit ADC with 24 bits of oversampling. So that is the uh, specs of the meter itself. I'm going to flip it over again and we can see the incredible painful process of uh, turning on the meter. So first we ah, try to get the USB plug in the plug-in on the computer and voila! Our uh, power meter powers up. Press start to begin. Uh, try to guess which one's the start button. Press the start button and voila, our meter is now reading. All right, so now it's time for a practical demonstration of measuring a laser. However, a few very important notes first, for example, are safety. Lasers are incredibly dangerous, so you should never be using one unless you know specifically and exactly what you are doing. For example, always wear safety glasses or goggles that are specifically rated for the laser in use. These lasers can be incredibly damaging to your eyesight. In addition, never point a laser at a uh, human or an animal or an aircraft, etc. They can cause incredible harm to other people as well as machinery and advanced systems. So, without further ado, let's uh, actually get a measurement here. So I'm going to put my glasses on, I'm going to turn on the laser, and hopefully we'll be able to measure something. And there we go. As you see, I have a uh, 455 nanometer uh, blue laser in use. And as far as the meter is concerned, I got a peak and latest measurement for power. Now another question that comes up very frequently is how do you calibrate your meter? Well lucky for me our school optics lab has some very nice uh, high-end meters which can be used for calibration. Now my Peltier cooler has a little white spot there that is not chipped paint for your information. I just didn't focus very hard on painting the top of the cooler, I focused more on painting the surface. Uh, just a random side note to avoid some annoying comments. So it looks like the meter has uh, peaked out there at uh, almost 400 milliwatts. This isn't the, the most insanely powerful laser in the world, but it's definitely up there. I'm going to shut that off, and so, yeah, that's a basic example of its use. Now, as I mentioned before, the Zealous Laser Power Meter can do data locking. So first, let's install everything that is required to do that. All you gotta do is click on this USB driver, double click the executable, hit run, and voila, you start installing the USB driver, and we're done. Next step, you just click this uh, executable named Zolus Laser Power Meter, and we're in. So as you can see, it's uh, pretty simple to install. It's based upon .NET Framework 3.5, so it's installed on the majority of uh, computers out there. Now I'm just going to plug in my laser power meter. I'm going to hit refresh. There's uh, the new COM port that appeared. I'm going to connect to that one. And then here's the GUI itself now that we are connected to the laser power meter. And as you can see, it's uh, nothing fancy yet. Uh, by the way, I'm just going to hit the start data collection. And as you can see, uh, we're starting to collect some data. 
I'm going to turn on my laser uh, so we can get some interesting readings. Now, as I was saying before, uh, the GUI is nothing fancy yet. Um, if people show interest in this, I'll probably build a more fancy, pretty GUI with flashy images and um, live graph readings. But as of now, um, I think this is pretty much all that is, uh, is necessary. And uh, with this, we can get some nice um, uh, logging data from our meter. So I just turned the laser on, uh, and then I turned it off. Now I'm letting it uh, cool down. As you can see, unfortunately, it does take the sensor a while to cool off. Um, so it'll keep reading slowly and decreasing, even though there's no optical presence there. But I'm just going to go ahead and hit uh, Stop Data Collection. And so as you can see here, we've collected a decent amount of data. I think the meter pulls for data about every uh, 50 milliseconds. So I'm just going to say to clipboard. Next I'm going to um, run a program in which I can graph this. So Windows Run Excel. And so I, I just use Excel to graph the data. I'm um, just going to paste the data to a random column. Then I'm going to go to, uh, let's see, insert, scatter, and just pick any type of random plot. And haha, -ha, there we go. Um, <laughs> I'll probably have to try to adjust this so it looks a little more interesting when you put it in Excel. But uh, yeah, that's the basic idea of how you can use the Zolus laser power meter for graphing data. And so this ends my uh, little overview of the product. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any interest in it. If you do, I'll consider making a few more of them. All right. Thanks a lot.